And hello there, my friends, and welcome to a new lesson. Here, I'm going to go over the input function and the put function. Now, what do we use these functions for? Well, the input function, we use it to convert a character variable to a numeric variable. And the put function, we do the opposite. We take a numeric variable and we convert it to a character variable. Now, one of the reasons why we want to do these conversions is, well, if we have a character variable like we have here, so we have sale, it's a character variable because of the dollar sign that you see here. You guys know that by now. Well, if we want to do actual calculations, well, we can't do calculations and statistical analysis on a character variable, right? It, it doesn't really make sense. You can't do, do that on a character variable. So that's the reason that we would have to convert it. Now, another, another thing that I would mention is don't get confused between the input statement, which is right here, and we're very much used to that input statement by now, and the input function, which is right here. So just to make sure there's no confusion about the input statement, and now we're here talking about the input function. So let's go through here this example that I've uh, put up for the input function. Notice here we've got our variable sale. We've set it's a character variable. And notice this nine and the dot. Now the reason that's there is that I've extended the length of this character variable to nine because if we take a look here at this data in under data lines, so it has a six comma five one five comma three five three. And if we count it, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It takes up nine spaces. So the default is actually eight. So if I just took this away, and then I ran the program, what you would of course see is that there's actually one number missing, okay? because our length hasn't been adjusted and we talked about length before. So you see it ends actually at three, five. It doesn't include this three. So that is why I added nine dot and that means that I want the length to actually be nine. The default is eight, so I'm adjusting it because my number here or my character variable, I should say, uh, is just slightly bigger. And you see when I make this adjustment, well now there it is. It's extended it to a nine length and everything shows up properly the way we want it. So if we take a look at the next line, what I've done is I've created a variable and this variable is going to represent the, num the conversion to that numeric variable. So that's why I called it num sale. Okay, and then we have an equal sign and then it's the function input that we're talking about here. And then inside of the parentheses, we've got our arguments, if you will, and we have sale because that is the variable, character variable we want to convert to a numeric variable. And then we have a comma, and then we have comma nine dot. And if you remember the things about the in formats that we talked about, we're using comma nine dot because we want to get rid of these commas right here. And I'll just run it again. Well, I don't need to run it. I can just go here. You'll see num sale, that variable we're talking about, and notice that the commas are gone. So here's another uh, place where we utilize an in format when we want to get rid of commas in this case right now. But the thing is, we've used the input function, uh, and let's now see. Well, did it actually make that conversion? Did it convert our character uh, sale variable to a numeric? So the way we would check that, remember proc contents? So you can type in proc contents, data equals input func or funds, however you wanna pronounce it, that's fine by me, and run. And this can confirm 
for you. So now we have the proc contents. And notice down here, all the way down here, where I'm highlighting, you have sale and it says type char, so character variable of length nine. And this new variable that we've made, num sale, where we use the input function to convert, uh, now it says num. So now it's a numeric variable. So now if you wanted to do, uh, of course, any type of uh, statistical analysis, you would now be able to do it where prior you would not be able to do it. So perfect. Well, okay, now you're one minute into the future or so. I didn't wanna to waste too much of your time, so I made the changes and I paused the video recording so I can just make the changes fairly quickly. So all I've done here is, if you start looking up top here, this is no longer a character variable. Now it's back to being numeric. And I've made changes down here. I got rid of the commas and now it's seven long uh, numerical variable. And what I've done of course here now is I've changed the variable name to char sale as we're making a conversion from numeric to character. And this is the variable that's going to store this new conversion from numeric to character. But all we do then, of course, is as we did before, we have the equal sign and then we use our function. In this case, we're going from numeric to character. So we use the put function instead of input. And then in the parameters, we write our variable that we're trying to convert, which is sale. And then we have a comma. And then we have an in format to properly read the data that we have here. And in this case, we would just, this is totally okay, seven dot. So let's take a look at what we have. And there we are. So sale, char sale. But of course we wanna check with proc contents. And what we notice down here is sale is numeric, just the way we wanted. And char sale is now a character uh, variable or a character type. So we've made the changes beautifully. And that's a very simple way, very simple to use the input and put functions. See you guys soon.